Oh, okay. So they left it off on another cliffhanger of her dying. Hey, look, she died twice. Is there gonna watch there be a third movie? Oh boy. Who's gonna tell him? Well, you did. Oh boy, did you tell me? <laughs> you told me. I said it would be called 365 More Days. That's the name of the next movie. 365 More Days. They called it the next 365 Days. Honestly, I like my title better. Writing was never their strong point. Let me remind you, all right? The first movie ended with her dying, right? The car crash. But somehow they resurrected her for the second movie. Except they killed her off again. At the end, she was shot. And every movie ended with a cliffhanger. It had to be her dying. So Rebel D, who still hasn't seen the movie, that's, that's him, Rebel from the past. What are your thoughts? What do you honestly want me to say? I, I don't know what to expect. They, they have to be trolling us at this point. <laughs> My only thought is, why do they keep making these? No, I mean, how do you think the movie's gonna start? Is she finally dead? I mean, there was a funeral. Her best friend. Her best friend misses her so much. I miss her. That's the friend, right? So, she is dead. What? She wouldn't be happy seeing you crying. There's even a tense showdown between the gangs and the bosses. The war between our families will be bloody, but it would be good for us to forget about this unfortunate incident. Unfortunate incident? Oh! Right in front of the grave of his twin brother, because she's just upstairs in the bedroom. She's just in bed. In bed, where they love to be. Apparently her friend misses her so much because she hasn't gotten the chance to go upstairs since the incident. I miss her. Ah, uh, she was just really busy, you know, with all the wedding planning and finding the perfect dress. There was really just no time to check up on her recently shot best friend who was recovering upstairs. <laughs> she misses her so much. Well, anyway, guess who goes to bed where baby is recovering? None other than babe. Can y'all like, <laughs> can y'all like, Explain first. No, they want to get right to it. They don't want to waste no time. Oh, it's too soon. It's too soon. The doctor said that it's too soon. I don't care what doctor said. Baby. No, it's not too soon to f oh. That's why they're watching Massimo. They'll get bored and they'll have to leave. I know how I feel and I know what I need. She's hungry for it. And the second the movie started was when she realized this, you know? It seems the second the movie started was the first time she actually got out of bed and went downstairs where her best friend was her best friend who was unable to use the stairs now the bestie who seems to be literally living with her is so surprised to see her oh my god she went downstairs no way how did you do that it is unfortunately a short-lived moment because she gets disgusted very fast by her friend's barbaric Worn out appearance. Hello, Giuseppe. Can we fix hair today? She gets her booked right on this. Right now. Oh, okay. We're coming. It's hair up. We're gonna go get your hair done. No way. And then I blinked. And they were having. They have meeting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're so extra. Just shove that seat in. Man was supposed to be getting her hair done. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. <laughs> and then what happened? <laughs> you didn't need to put that part in. I guess we skipped a couple of chapters. It's the whole, let's just get it over with. She shows up, Massimo's having a meeting, okay? But then suddenly his animalistic instinct to breed went wild and bam. But bam makes it sound like it was quick. It was just a quick second. Bam and done. No, I sat through 15 minutes of it. I was literally in the room with them. In fact, I could smell it. I felt involved. <laughs> but like any bestie, like you, bestie, she wants to hear the gossip. How did you know she wasn't wearing pants? Where have you been peeping? Why are these girls talking about it like it's her first time? They're like, <laughs> you did it. She's like, oh my god, no. Did you guys like, did you guys like, fuck her? Ah! It's 
not like they've done it every other minute of the previous two movies we've seen. No tak, przeleciałam. Znać każdy nawet najmniejszy szczegół, rozumiesz? Girl, you should have been watching this with us. You wouldn't have missed a thing. We were in there 15 minutes, I'm telling you. Now, our talented scriptwriter, Blanka Lipinski, the mastermind behind this trilogy, she chose to continue the trend that she'd started in the previous two movies. That is, replacing the actual plot with music videos. This time it's a girl's day out music video. <laughs> Girls are out and having fun, but it's shortly interrupted by a mysterious call. Who's gonna do this? Don't call me on my girl's day. Who's this bitch? Hello? Hi. Wait a second, please. Not Nacho. <laughs> Not the gardener again. Now, don't bring back the love triangle. That was the the plot of the second movie. Is it gonna be the plot of this- the plot of this one too? I can't forget about you. So try harder. Baby, no, not Nacho! That was enough. Because they realize that Laura might just be in love with Nachos. Oh, wait, is that a plot? Wait a minute. No way. Let's be honest, it's pretty impressive. Okay, it took them three movies to get here, but we've got a plot forming. How ideal, Laura, wife of one gang leader, is now falling in love with the son of another gang leader. The adversary, even. What a shocking revelation. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna... We'll, we'll, ju we'll just shove a music video. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on here? The girls are out clubbing, and mind you, that nobody knows where they're at. A Massimo wie, że wychodzimy? No, oczywiście. <laughs> but that doesn't mean shit in this movie. Somehow the whole world knows. Not only Massimo, who's like the gang leader of the area. Nacho, who was exiled from Sicily five minutes ago. This is Sicily. will never step a foot in here again. Is chilling at the bar, dude. What's that Nacho in the back? What is it with these people showing up like completely like out of nowhere? Not only that, Massimo, the guy who exiled him, is right there too. Two enemies are right there, right there with each other. The tension. The sexual tension. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shut the f up. They're not even trying to be classy about it. <laughs> this one was brutal. It was the hardest one to watch. It doesn't even look odd, it just looks... Weird. It looked like she was on a bouncy castle on Adderall. It looked like an exorcism. You know? It was endless until it finally ended. And you'd think, damn, like, the sun has got to be rising at this point. They literally spent all night partying. And then they made love for, like, five hours, it seems. Like, I don't know, unless y'all did the whole partying and all of it in, like, an hour, the sun should be coming up by now. Well, they did go home. They tucked into bed. They even slept. And then they woke up. And somehow the night was still young. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where'd you wake up? In the club? Or is this- are you guys home? Okay, did y'all like sleep for- for the day? Did y'all like- is this the next night? What's going on here? This evening is 24 hours long. Anyways, logistics aside. Okay, Blanca Lipinska is not like a geologist. She's a writer. She's not gonna sit here and measure how long the nights are. Stop nitpicking. She wakes up and goes down to search for the babe who had just made mm, mm, love to her. Okay? Next thing she knows, Mans has lost his mind. Zero to a hundred. Suddenly... What happened to Helen? Maybe I think that you are drunk and... Uh, maybe we can talk about this another time. Answer me! Your ex shot me. What happened between you and Matos? Nothing happened. Liar! You ran away with them when you thought that I was cheating on you and Anna. It would have never happened if you told me about your twin brother. <laughs> And what do you mean? I would have never run away with another man if you told me you had a twin brother. Damn it. If, o if only you told me you had a twin, I wouldn't have run away with Nacho. I wanted to protect the family. And I knew what you would do if you found out that I lost a baby in the accident. <laughs> Where the fuck is this coming from? <gasps> Suddenly, he's thinking about how she's lied about the pregnancy and all the things she must have done with Nacho. Where, 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 where was this energy? 
ages ago. She's confused, we're confused, Blanca Lipinska is confused. It was my baby. It was our baby. Yeah! And now they're gonna have ferocious love. She just didn't know how to bring it up, okay? So she just conveniently shoved it right in between two love scenes. Yeah. The one they just had, and the one they're gonna have the morning after their brutal fight. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have got to be kidding right now. I mean, I didn't even notice the man change. <gasps> Babe Laura, she just wants Nacho. She can't stop thinking about him. He's in her thoughts and he gets her going. My God, you're so hot. Well, he really does. Massimo got pissed. He had a feeling. I think you're hiding something from me. So they decided the only way to deal with this real issue as, as mature adults was the silent treatment. It wasn't completely silent though, because it was a music video of the silent treatment. Now, everybody was just living their separate lives. This marriage was breaking apart. They were working on their jobs, giving each other space, trying not to get seduced because they're sex crazed animals. In fact, in an effort not to get seduced, Nans decides to rub one off for us. Maybe even. At us? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you have got to be kidding. What an unnecessary scene. I honestly don't know why we were there for that shot. That was disgusting. No, we just really didn't need to know what was going on in the shower. We could have waited outside, is all I'm saying. And what better way to end the music video in the next 365 days than with a s scene. What the fuck is this? What is this? What is this movie? <laughs> this time, we had to sit through Laura's employee. Is she a relevant character? No, just enjoy the scene, okay? She was getting it on with some random what Italian stallion. I didn't know you were coming early today. Couldn't she walk in on you doing something else, like video calling someone? Ah, oh, shit, I didn't know you were coming in early today. Sorry, I gotta go. Does it have to be, have to be sex all the time? This scene, however, is important, okay? Because if you remember in the last movie, this business that she's got, it was uh, Massimo's gift to her, the atelier, right? And for Christmas, this kind of fashion business. And so it was at that moment, her best friend walks in, yeets the phone onto the table on top of all the bodily fluids they hadn't cleaned up and shows Laura an invitation to the Lagos Fashion Week in Portugal. <laughs> We don't care though. Why? Because, well, there is really no plot, so we're not connecting with the characters in any way. And so they go and they're at the beach and everybody's surfing. Oh yeah. And if you remember, Nacho is a surfer. Could it be possible though? Could it be possible that Nacho, the Spaniard gangster who was being a menace in Sicily, he was literally in Sicily like five seconds ago, could it be that he is conveniently surfing at the exact same spot that Laura decided to go get drinks in Lagos, Portugal? Well, when Blanca's the writer, yeah, it's possible. Hey, drinky. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for our champion, Marcelo Nacho Mario. <laughs> I called it. You guys are so predictable. It's insane. And now they're running from Nacho. They're running from Nacho now. Bestie's like, girl, you can't just leave me in the dark like this. I need an explanation. Tell me everything that happened. So she explains in a music video. <laughs> I don't know, and now the rest is kind of hazy. has a habit. This guy has, he's done it in the previous movie. His wide angle face appearances, you know? He loves to creep up on us, especially when we're sleeping. <laughs> oh my God, it's almost as though we're holding his face and it's almost as though he's on top of us. I don't know what happens here, but 
her best friend gets kidnapped. You guys, I think somebody just took the friend. <laughs> and apparently, Laura planned this, right? Because all she wanted was to see baby boy toy Nacho. I was really worried about you. Is that not your sister? You know he's not a bad person, right? That doesn't justify the way he treated me. I know, and when I found out what he had done, I didn't talk to him like for a week. Girl, oh my god, that's so cute. When he found out he almost got her killed and got Massimo's brother killed, I almost didn't talk to him for a week. Oh. I was like, bad boy. Bad boy. Nacho. The plan? Lock her best friend in the hotel while she cheats on her husband with Nacho. Just kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, no. She didn't cheat. She was just exploring. Okay? Her options. I will give you time, little bit. Oh my god, he's so cute. I'll be waiting, even for the rest of my life. Oh my god, he's so nice. It won't change anything. Did I make a mistake? My purse. Bam. She cheats. Oh god. Now, Nacho is a romantic man. He's not just gonna be like, okay, girl, go home. So he drops her off at home, about a three hour walk short from home. You couldn't like drop her off somewhere closer to the hotel? Damn. Don't know why he didn't drop her off at the door of her apartment. He was like, girl, walk. So she walks back home, only to find Massimo waiting for her in the Portugal apartment. Y'all, I don't wanna, I'm nervous. <laughs> what brings him here? Oh, he smelled Nacho's bodily fluids from Sicily, of course. You dirty liar! Nachos, you have a pretty strong smell. They fight. I'm one step away from asking you for divorce. I'm just a step away from divorce. It's not like I just cheated on you or anything. It's just like, it's not that like, hey, it's not that deep. Look at me, there's no loss. This white sheet replaced me. What? And I expect you to leave for Sicily tomorrow to give me time and space. I oh, oh, oh no! I expect you to leave too. She turned cursive those last few lines. He leaves and then Bestie walks in for round two of the fight. Now I was honestly confused where her Bestie disappeared for a few hours. <laughs> But this best friend needs to get over her petty issues. Still, I locked you in a room all night. Okay, shut up. Laura has bigger problems. She's out here cheating on her husband with another gang leader. The last thing she needs is you and your... Shut up. Laura's got bigger problems than you when getting locked in a room. Shut up. I need you to support me. Oh, you're right. I should have been there for you. I should have been cheerleading on that beach. <laughs> I wish I could have, but you chose to lock me in the hotel. <laughs> and then I blinked again, and suddenly we're in Poland. <laughs> what? Oh my god, this movie is a mess. Y'all, we're in Portugal. Now we're in Poland. Ma'am has been in three countries in the last 20 minutes. Spends the day with the fam, and then she tells them she's in love with another man. Then she goes to bed, and what do we see? Well, her actually charged dreams, of course. Her wet dreams for no reason. This time, both of these men are going at each other. And I, oh. <laughs> Are you crazy, feisty girl? She, that's what she wanted. She wants them both. And she wants them together. She wants a throuple. Boys are making out. She's getting all wired up. But wake up! <laughs> Daddy's about to take his little girl for some ice cream. The cute father-daughter time is rudely interrupted by her unsufferable best friend who won't stop calling her. What do you want? I was having a beautiful dream, having a beautiful lunch with my dad. What do you want? Something better be terribly wrong for you to be disturbing this beautiful afternoon. So we take the call and we endure the judgmental stares of the nuns that were completely... Unwarranted? <laughs> I don't know. What's up with these girls? Um, apparently we're screwed. Yeah, because babe, Massimo knows that we've been cheating. <sighs> oh my god, what are we gonna do? She's a bad. She's not gonna run away. 
She's not gonna deny. She's gonna go straight up to Massimo and rub it in his face. That's her plan. So she travels and she arrives, and if rubbing it in his face was not enough, her ride to Massimo's place was none other than Nacho. That's right. These coincidences. Like, she literally could have taken any other cab. I can't help it. Oh yeah, we know that. You keep popping up underneath the covers for no reason. Now she's got company, an audience, to watch her rub it in Massimo's face. The concept here is that she needed to make a choice, right? A difficult choice. Does she choose to stay with Massimo? Or should she leave and run away with her newfound boy toy, Nacho? I will wait. Dude, you said that the first time, but then you keep showing up. It was a tough decision to make, but she's gotta make it soon, because she got there. No, I'm fine, I go get off to Imagine the nerve showing up to your husband in a car with the dude you were cheating on him with. <gasps> and her best friend was having a fit. Her best friend was going nuts. <laughs> You're yes, ma'am, because apparently you keep resurrecting. Is it really an occasion? <laughs> Is it really something to drink to? Here we go, guys. Let's see how it ends. And she heads down to the beach, and there he was waiting for her. Oh, God, brace yourselves. Oh. Massimo, we need to talk. Wait. Massimo isn't even isn't even angry. No, he's a soft, understanding, loving, romantic man. Com a complete shift in my guy's personality. The character growth within five minutes was phenomenal. No, it was almost unrealistic. Are you black, baby girl? And then she shares her decision. Her final decision. Like a crack in the well, I had a young boy's heart. Excuse me. You held it in your hand. She decided that you say hold me hard before you. Yeah. That was without doubt the most unsatisfying ending I've ever seen in my- What does that even- what is this? So we have to wait until 365 more days, I guess, to hear whether she wants to be with Nacho or this guy. No thank you. I don't want to see it anymore. Honestly, it looks like they're trying to milk the shit out of this franchise. They're trying to make a fourth movie. I'm not gonna watch a fourth movie to know what she's decided. I'm sorry. I'll just Google it. I don't, <laughs> I don't even want to know. No, you guys, they forgot to kill her off in this movie. They forgot to leave it at that for the cliffhanger. I think they were worried it would become like a The Boy Who Cried Wolf kind of situation where we just wouldn't believe them, so we just wouldn't even bother watch the fourth movie. Well, they'd be right. That was the movie. In a, in a nutshell. So, it was basically a lot of the second movie, but recycled. Which makes sense. It only released five months after. I did tell you to lower your expectations, didn't I? I don't think I predict a fourth movie down the line, you guys. No. Maybe they'll make, like, a spin-off about Nacho. Because I guess a lot of people were obsessed with him. They had to, like... They really shoved this man into this movie, like, they tried, they really did. And, and then, then the makeout scene between him and Massimo, they were trying to break the internet with it, you know? They're trying to, like, let's, we have to just milk this as much as we can! Yeah, I think it's, I think it's time to, to wrap it up. <laughs> right? what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, guys. But yeah, if you want more movie reviews, get this video to 50,000 likes. Because I kind of, I kind of, I'm starting to like making these movie reviews. They're, I'm, they're growing on me like fungus. Um, I think the camera's gonna die, like, literally right now. I, I won't even have a chance to say bye. Oh my god. <sighs> no. Wait, I haven't made my decision yet. If I want to, like, be with you. I've decided that... Oh! Oh, how inconvenient. <laughs>